to God. You are enjoying your year. Wow, you look so gorgeous, Pastor Ime. Wow. <laughs> Always, yes, the clouds are gathering, right? <laughs> the clouds are gathering, wow. And testimonies are gathering from the clouds. When the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth, you know? So we just keep gathering, 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 and get ready to empty. So much pastor taught us yesterday. After yesterday's service, I thought the week had started. I had to be reminded towards the evening that there was service today. Because I was like, there's, after hearing that, I was like, there's nothing else to, there's nothing. There's no, <laughs> just like, a pastor so loaded us with so much that honestly, that the message of yesterday is enough for the whole year. I'm telling you, if you just go studying, studying deeply, deeply into it, it's just too much. And so we are grateful to our pastor for giving us that Rema word that guides us into all the glories of the new year. Because there's a lot of lovely testimonies that are going to be happening this year. A lot of lovely testimonies concerning God's children. And you just need to be well positioned for you to receive. Well positioned for you to receive. As long as you are well positioned, you are functioning. The Bible tells us all things work together for good. But it's not to everyone. It's to those who are well positioned. That's why it says, it, that Romans 8.28. Give me Romans 8.28. It's all things, for we know that all things, and we know that all things work together for good. Them that love God. So not to everybody. But to them that love God. And then it says, to them who are the called according to his purpose. That means those who are functioning in accordance with his purpose. Those who have aligned themselves with God's plan. Because God always has a plan for it for the times. You know, before we entered into 2022, God has already been here a long time ago. Right? So he already knows. We are the ones entering into 2022. I, I was surprised when Pastor said that in Ethiopia it's still 2014. Wow, isn't it amazing? And I'm sure maybe in some other places you'll be surprised that they don't even know what, is in, what the calendar is about. You know, and then of course China, maybe they may be waiting for the year of the rat or the year of the donkey. I don't know what the year will be for them, you know, but it's amazing. But for us, we are different. We function by God's calendar. And that's why things align together for our good because we are the called according to his purpose. So as long as we are aligned to God's purpose, it doesn't matter what happens. Doesn't matter where you find yourself. Doesn't matter what happens around you. At the end of the day, you will always benefit. It will be to your benefit. Where others are saying there's a casting down, for us, God's children, we shall always declare that there's a lifting up. Because it will align for us to be lifted. Joseph went to jail, but he came out as a big testimony. Hallelujah. You know, Jesus went to the cross. But he's Lord of all. He's seated on the throne. He's Lord of all. So that tells us no matter the challenge that you encounter this year, at the end of the challenge, you will have a testimony. I remember that great Archbishop Benson in Dahosa, one of his messages those days, he was the one that I first heard that word from, that when you hear testimony, testimony does not conclude without a test. The word testimony starts with a test. That's how it starts. So when you want to start spelling testimony, you would have already spelled test. So before there can be a testimony, there's got to be a test. Now remember I told you, I said, everybody's got to be tested. You will be tested. If you are going to move to a new level in life, you must be tested. There's no way you won't be tested. If you're going to graduate from your university, you must pass an examination. There must be an examination. If you are going to move from the level of someone who's having $10,000 in the bank account to someone who's going to be having $100,000 or a million dollars in your bank account, you must be financially tested. If you are not tested, you can't move. There's got to be a test. Everyone you find that has been successful in life, they always have a story of a test somewhat that they went through. There's always a test. Glory to God. And when you are well positioned with God and you know how to function, you will always pass your test. You will always pass your test. Glory to God. 
Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Pastor started by taking us to verse 3 in this scripture. But, you know, there's something remarkable about the scripture. I like when I'm going through scriptures, personally, I like to go in context. So, I, I like to sometimes read a verse before, a verse after, and then to stretch it out a little bit further so that I can really understand what is being talked about there. And so let's take Ecclesiastes chapter 11 from verse 1. Pastor gave us verse 3. Okay, let's just go from verse 3 first. Okay, verse 3. Verse 3 tells us, If the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. That's the one Pastor dealt with. Okay? So they empty the, themselves upon the earth when they are full of rain. And that, that rain there means streams, gushers. If the clouds be full of gushers. So before something, can, 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 before something can become a stream, that means it has packed up. It has been saturated. Of course, before any cloud, at least I did a little bit about science before I started learning money. Uh, when, when a cloud becomes saturated, heavily saturated, that's when it deaminates and becomes water and comes down in the atmosphere. Right? Am I making sense? Okay, good, exactly. So before that cloud will turn into rain, definitely there has to be something that will make it to condense or come together. And then in, with the right temperature surrounding it, it comes down. So the right conditions are what makes a rain to come down. Glory to God. So those conditions, do you know, I, 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 I learned some years back, that this should be old technology now, that there were some places where they actually forced rain to fall by flying an aircraft into the air, provided there were sufficient clouds, and then releasing particles into the atmosphere that made the clouds to condense. And then rain actually fell. I learned about that technology. That was many years back. I don't know. Some of you are looking at me as if you, I, we are not in a world of technology. Where are you from? <laughs> All right. Oh, yes, back. So they use that to manipulate. That also tells us we can manipulate our seasons. We can manipulate our seasons. We can determine our seasons. If we know what influences the seasons, then we can manipulate those things to ensure that we are in the right season. If there is drought in an atmosphere and you know how to get water into that atmosphere, then you can manipulate your own atmosphere. You can create your own world to suit you. In the midst of 36 degrees, there are some people who have their windows open and they'll be going, <laughs> they are, they, I mean, they're like, they're wondering why is there so much hot air. There are some others, they know what to do with the atmosphere. In the midst of that 36 degrees heat, they just switch on the air conditioner and everything changes. Hallelujah. Changes. Inside here, now understand the weather outside may be hot. But inside here, we have air conditioned the place for you. You can air condition your life. Mali and the Surakaya. You can air condition your life. That they'll do everything is hot. You enter into your car, your car is cool. While others are working hot, you are in a cool environment. You can decide to reorganize your world to suit yourself. How your environment will be like this year depends on you. It depends on you. You are the one to take those necessary steps. It's not God to take the steps. So, you know, that's why some people get frustrated after they've made New Year resolutions. Then three months later, because they've been waiting on God to do something for them and the angels to work on their behalf. They, they, they didn't want to do anything. So they just went and sat down and business as usual. If you don't begin to do some things differently, you will always get the same results. If you want to get 2021 results in 2022, just keep doing what you've been doing in 2021 that gave you 2021 results. But if you want 2022 results, results of increasing grace and glory, it's time to begin to take some necessary steps that will make things to change on your behalf. Hallelujah. You can start, first of all, by looking at your environment, your home, your immediate place, or where, wherever you spend a lot of time. You can start by looking at that place and saying, what things need to change in this atmosphere? What do I need to change here? Sometimes it might be you need to change some clothes. You know, you might just need, maybe there are some clothes that you have been wearing for the past seven years. It has not changed. This, this cloth you have, no, every Monday, you are, this is what you wear. It has not changed. It may be time to change it, glory to God. Maybe time to change it. Maybe there might just be an old shoe that you have been wearing for 10 years. It has grown with you. It has become your testimony. 
It knows you very well. As soon as you put leg inside, it says, uh, as usual. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's time to change it. It might be your rich touch that needs to change. Something around you needs to change. Glory to God. Tell your neighbor, something needs to change. Get ready to change things. For some, it might be your hairstyle that just needs to change. Maybe you'll be carrying big one, like, like, this, like big this on your head. Maybe you just need to change it. I didn't say bab moro moro. <laughs> you just need to change something. Something just needs to change around you. Don't, you know, the, even the environment is constantly changing. The whole world is constantly changing. So you too, you just need to change something. Sometimes it might be that your car needs to change. Or it might be that your residence needs to change. The house you've been living in for a while has just needs to change. Maybe you've been living in a house that's made out of bricks. And, you know, in that house, there are some houses in Australia. You wonder, is this part of Australia? You know, you get to that place. E everywhere is a mess. I mean, from, from the doorstep, the way, if, if rain falls, when the cloud be full of rain, nobody can put leg inside that house. You know? <laughs> you know, you might just need to start thinking about how do I change this place of residence? You know, you start thinking about it. You start planning towards it, but something has got to change. Sometimes it might be the kind of friends you have been keeping for a while. Maybe you'll be keeping complainants as friends who only complain from morning to night. Every time you got, when, when there's a gathering cloud in your own environment, it is clouds of complaint. They just empty themselves in your, <laughs> they start emptying complaints all around you. About how bad the other one is, how bad this one, how tough things are, everything tough, tough, tough. It may be time to just change that atmosphere. Hallelujah. Sometimes you need to let go of the old friends so that new friends can come around you. The best set of friends you can have are those who motivate you for success. People who motivate you, who stir up success in you. People who tell you there's something new, there's something ahead. Those who tell you you can do it. You can do it. Try. And even if there's a challenge and you discover, oh, well, it didn't quite work out. When you come back, they tell you, okay, maybe this was where you went wrong. Why don't you try this one again? And you keep trying and trying. Those are the people that stir you up for success. Blessed are you if you have those kind of people around you. Amen. The billionaires you have in the world today, the successful people you have in the world today, check their lives. They had such people around them who motivated and stirred them up to success. But if you, all you have around you is complainants, um, village um, thinkers, and those who are always thinking backward in terms of thinking ahead, then all you just get, you're like, no wonder you're, you're like stagnant in life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Tell someone something must change. This year you are changing things. Changing things. And beautiful things with this ministry. You cannot be in this ministry without changing something. Yo, something will surely change. <laughs> if nothing else will change, to start with, the way you talk about yourself will begin to change. You know, in this ministry, you don't find anybody talking down themselves. You know, say, ah, you know, me, I'm just, you know, I've just been having it so bad. I had this uh, headache the other day, then I went out quarantine the other one, then I, I lost my job the other one, 